Hey guys, this is Anand, and uh, today I decided to do a few more uh, games of uh, commentary on the M26 Pershing. I did a video on it not that long ago, but it had a really great response because it seems like there wasn't, there's not a lot of uh, uh, footage on this tank, so I thought I would just do it again, uh, especially this first battle. Um, I, I like to talk about the highlights of this tank, that it has such a great mantlet armor and gun depression, so it holds down really well, uh, but obviously there's quite a few uh, maps that uh, you aren't really able to get hold down so uh, or use the sides of hills so I decided to start uh, with this Himmelsdorf battle I am platooned with XJS of Storm and actually platooned with him for both games these are these are actually back-to-back -back games uh, so I just kind of have a good run uh, so we're working up the the uh, left side here uh, even though most of our team went the other direction the other uh, red is almost all heavies so we're hoping to flank and uh, working our way up uh, pause there for a second just to make sure nothing was coming uh, and instead uh, there's a IS-3 defender pouring in on me. I actually play this excursion with him, or encounter with him terribly uh, but get lucky because there's two of us. Uh, when I saw him I tried to bail out uh, in between those rail cars and ended up hitting them instead and then backed into another one. Uh, there I try and turn so he'd hit my tracks and unfortunately overturn so he's able to <laughs> to pen me, um, bouncing off of him. This is pretty much a terrible encounter for me, uh, but the, since there's two of us, I'm able to get away with it with only taking one shot and taking uh, one of these heavies out right off the bat. Um, which is great because, uh, like I said, red is pretty much all heavies and we're we're, we're definitely uh, outweighted uh, right off the bat. So, um, also with this many heavies, I know I'm going to be burning a lot of APCR. Uh, it's just the way it is. It's got this tank has fairly average pen in its normal AP, uh, which is good against most tanks, but against heavies uh, fighting them from the front, uh, you're going to have to be running a lot of APCR. Uh, you, this is I run way more in this game than I normally do, but still. Uh, anyway, so now that that guy is gone, we are pushing up to get behind them. Based on the minimap, we know they actually have pushed forward uh, on this side. Uh, so they're already out of a lot of the hold down areas, which lets us be very, very aggressive as we push in. Uh, turn the corner to see all these red tanks exactly where we thought they would be based on that minimap. Uh, bounce on the IS-3. So instead I turn to the Sioux, and as soon as I shoot, I back up to get hold down myself because I know he's going to turn on me because I've now shot two red tanks in the back and it's pretty likely they're going to start turning, which they did. So now I can use these little hills uh, to effectively get hold down even though this is a fairly flat map. Uh, and there's no hills for me to ride the uh, ride the tops of and be able to shoot down and protect my entire tank. Instead, I can just pop out and take shots um, and uh, utilize the strong mantlet. So now our whole team is dead. So it's down to XJ and I against four. Uh, again, lots of heavies. At least they're a little bit beat up. Uh, half to backups, the IS-3 pushes, and XJ does a great job of uh, backing up so I don't get stuck. And uh, he decides to uh, push to the other side a little bit. Uh, another uh, defender is pushing really hard on me, so I switch to APCR. Uh, and again, using this good hold down ability and trying to bait shots in here too. Uh, we all, <laughs> anybody that's facing defenders right now, which is pretty much everybody, knows that that front armor is extremely troll. So even with APCR uh, showing full ability to pen, I'm still getting a few bounces. Uh, either way, you get to dispatch with him, and XJ now has pushed up a little bit uh, tough position and is getting shot, but he does a really good job of kind of holding that line uh, and allowing me to work through this 32 and 34, especially first, uh, uh, while keeping me from being flanked. So I'm pretty much just spamming APCR at this point because they're heavies and I don't want to risk missing a shot. That's about the only time I spam any sort of gold is in a situation like this because it lets me get that really nice cheek shot to finish off the T-34 and then uh, come up here to help XJ who unfortunately dies but that 32 is exposed uh, to, to kill XJ and now we have whittled it down to a one on one versus an IS-3 which I like my position at this point. Uh, if he was smart, he would have probably stayed there and made me come around, uh, but he's being aggressive, uh, which lets me get a couple shots in here. Still more bounces, like I said, uh, just kind of the nature of fighting some of these uh, pike noses in the front. 
probably didn't need to pop adrenaline here either, but uh, these late games, you're just trying to trying to make sure you seal out the wins for your team. Huge, R <laughs> pretty good RNG shot there. Uh, it was pretty much fully aimed, and it still hit the mound of dirt. Another one there, <laughs> just off the front tip of the the pike, but. Like I said, I can still uh, kind of win the battle of attrition on shots there and uh, finally take him out. So I think a great example of having to fly, fight uh, with the Pershing and more on flat ground uh, versus the hills. Uh, the hills is really where it shines, but as long as you can get something to protect uh, the, your main chassis, then it can still do a really great job. Uh, decided to go ahead and throw in another bonus game here just because... They were back-to-back -back games anyway. Uh, it's on Canal, where obviously this tank is going to shine because of everything I've been talking about uh, with its great ability to work the hills and ridgelines. And uh, so here we go. Here's another one. And we're going to do, start out by doing the normal action here of going to that southeast corner uh, so we can use uh, use the curves of the hills uh, to protect us protect our tank as much as possible and uh, utilizing that mantlet like I've been talking about. Uh, when I start from this spawn side I pretty much always peek up right here in this spot just to see and I'm hoping that uh, some mediums are pushing really hard uh, like that 43 does. Uh, he was just too quick for me to be able to shoot him in the side. It frequently lets you get a free, couple free shots as they run to that sort of most uh, far corner. But still, I've got a couple here, and so it's letting me work it. I start to take a shot from my left. Uh, luckily, it bounces, but it lets me know uh, that there's tanks in town and they're pointing our way. Most of our team is actually in town, so they should be able to push forward and protect me from that. But it's uh, it's good to know, based on those bounces, uh, that there's a tank there. As they start to light up on my mini-map, and now I can kind of keep an eye on it. Uh, XJ is getting pushed really hard to my right, uh, but I don't want to overextend to the Super Pershing. Uh, but at the same time, I'm taking too many shots, so I kind of have to reevaluate and shift backwards here a little bit. Uh, I know that Super Pershing probably was one of the shots he's uh, gotten himself uh, his camo reset, uh, but just based on the direction, it was probably from that angle. So now I have to move down and work on this ridge line a little bit. Uh, XJ is not being pushed, so it lets me. Uh, be able to focus on these other tanks. Uh, ISU sitting up in that camper spot, uh, so nice to be able to put a shell into him and move on. Switch to APCR on the Super Pershing just because it's a little uh, tricky to pen. I don't need the extra pen necessarily, but I like the uh, the less uh, or the quicker firing, uh, I guess you would say, on the on the APCR. So my shell's going to get there quicker as he's moving around. And now I can see that we pretty much have their whole team with us, uh, but luckily we have these, uh, we've got the kind of the armor and this mantlet to hold them back. Uh, you just kind of, in a situation like this, I'm trying to shoot any tank that's either low health or any tank that's pushing on us first, because if they rush us uh, right now, we'll be pretty overwhelmed and it'll be difficult to win. Um, and obviously you want to take out a tank if you can. So uh, the ISU turned to XJ, and that's why I tried to put a shot into him just to keep him from getting extra shots. And so now my that's where I've changed a little bit, is uh, if I see a tank that's pointing in towards him, I know I'm pretty protected, so I can uh, start to work on him a little bit. Um, I'm actually not paying a ton of attention to the minimap, which is rare for me, uh, and I can see them pushing all the way around, but it's because we have so much of their team over here that this is our main focus. Uh, now we can finish off the last... Uh, kind of tank we've been fighting on this side and it'll let us uh, change the front uh, and be able to turn around and, and now focus on the tanks that were uh, coming up behind us. So uh, kill the KV-13 and push up through the middle because now we're changing tactics completely and looking for ways to snipe in. Uh, our two teammates that had, have been in town that have survived uh, probably aren't going to make it so I'm not trying to run over and save them, uh, just trying to keep them from, uh, or get them to take as much damage as possible. So let's just take out the T-34. And that T-32 essentially sold out to get the kill, uh, which uh, is really great. So we can work, uh, use this great gun depression to, to take him out next. Pretty focused. I can see that dragon uh, working on the far side. He you know he's going to be a little bit of a challenge at the end. Uh, but like I said, we're just trying to get this 
this tank here does a good job of actually working himself back onto that ridge line so he's hard to shoot uh, but we're I'm not willing to sell out to go down and get him some <laughs> couple big RNG shots here actually with the APCR in the side of his turret cheeks and not able to to get it now I'm tr shooting for his uh, commander's hatch which is really difficult uh, XJ has decided to go after the uh, that dragon because uh, we know that he is uh, he, he's a little bit better uh, and unfortunately uh, gets stuck as he comes around the corner and uh, loses that battle but I know I can take one shot safely the J Panther can't but that's okay because we know where he is the, my fear at this point is that he's gonna run away and be able to circle us and use that great view range to, to possibly pick us off before uh, we can really deal with it so um, Waiting here at first just to kind of see if he comes this direction we can get a spot on him uh, I want to stay I, I was hoping to stay kind of in the ridgeline areas um, So that to use my advantage versus his speed advantage doesn't really work uh, So move forward and was able to bounce that that first shot from him We trade a shot and now I really don't want to take another one without getting him But luckily the J Panther is able to uh, to turn and get that shot and so another just kind of fun game uh, with the just highlighting the good points of this tank. I really made this video more for the first battle, uh, but this one was uh, just kind of a nice bonus because, like I said, they were back to back. So, all right, hope this helps a little bit more with the Pershing, and uh, enjoy.